Hey guys, Dan Wolfman here. Welcome to CatchJitsu.com. I am at Mike Pierce UFC Fighters Rose City FC Gym, and I'm going to teach you all about hip locks today. People are like, ah, oh, that's never going to happen. What's a hip lock? I'm going to show you the hip lock in six pretty common entries. The first four are very common. Six entries into the hip lock, and you know, it's a pretty, really cool submission about body weight control and position. It doesn't have to be fast, and people don't know it, so they're very, very open. Let's go down and side mount first on the back. Okay, so first off, first off, for a hip lock, there's a couple different entries. I've shown this on seminars before. If a guy's blocking my mount, whether it's grappling or MMA, I can grab the, the top of the toes, lift this up, and do a leg insert. Bam, with my foot. Now I'm gonna heel back, heel back, heel back, heel back, heel back. Then when I heel back a little bit, I'm gonna come in a head and arm, and then I'm gonna heel back some more, and then I'm gonna lift my leg and triangle to my own calf. From there, I'm gonna heel in some more, and he's already starting to hurt. Then I'm gonna weave, I'm staying tight to this arm, I weave my elbow out, I bring my elbow to the other side of his head, and I'm gonna crunch him sideways like an accordion, both drawing this back and his head back at the same time. Okay, and there's the hip lock. Very simple from side mount. Another way of doing it is just a transition or passing or it's here, maybe we flopped, whatever it is. I'm gonna just pop his leg and bump my elbow up like this. I'm just gonna do a little poppy motion with my elbow here. Boom, and insert. Okay, and you can do that in a lot of situations. All right, so here, bam, same thing. So another way, he's here, but this time I'm gonna keep it on the toes. I'm gonna lift these up, I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna heel back, okay, always heel back first. I'm gonna bring this knee down towards the mat, even if it doesn't touch. I'm gonna come in the head and arm, stay tight, up by the head. I'm gonna lift up, triangle my leg, foot to the calf, heel back. This time I'll keep the arm tight because I don't want him pushing me away in my armpit. I'll do a cover, I'll come outside, I'll put my hands back together, and I'll hip lock a mirror. I like, I was gonna keep the toes that time. So there's the hip lock. But here, I could have kept it, I heel back, I come in, boom, and I can do a dual submission, a toe hold, reverse toe hold, and a hip lock at the same time. So I can get the reverse toe hold and the hip lock at the same time. So that's from side mount. I'm gonna go on because you're gonna see it over and over again in different positions. Another way of getting this is from a butterfly guard pass, like a flyover pass. So make sure we get, we get different angles. I'm gonna do a flyover pass, which would be something like here, bring my knees up in the pocket, compress his heels to the buttocks, reach same side to the ankle, and get some control. Drop my head to the mat. I'm gonna fly over, and he's a juice guy bringing this leg into me. I'm gonna collect this to my chest, keep it there, heel in, come on in, head and arm, heel back, heel back, heel back, triangle, pass, here, hip lock. Okay? Uh, Mike, you want to do uh, no, it's a butterfly pass. And pass. Here. I'm looking to regard it, bring that leg in. He's going to collect it and bring it on in. Boom. He's in the hip lock position. Yeah. Oh, this already sucks. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and then I'm getting hip replacement surgery. Okay? Uh, another pointer on this position for MMA, it's just not a bad place to be. If I can come in here, boom, and knee down, I can pinch his hips, and I'm in a good spot. He's going to try to move out, but I can, I can pop out, and then I can start working. Boom, elbows, double wrist locks. I can still in control, and then I can hit the hip lock. Okay, so it's not a bad ground and pound uh, position either. Uh, I'll go first and you can. So turtle, another entry, is from a stand-up guy. All right, so grappling MMA. In MMA, put your knee in the hole, Igor Volchanson style, here, we're banging him, he's going to do a stand-up. Right away, I'm going to change that punch into, a, into a, a cradle. Coming in here, bam, here. Get your hands together, bring, I like to bring my knee to the hip here, drag him backwards. Go for the one, two, three, pin. Okay, his legs are spread, that's my insert. Bam, up there. Okay, build my base with my elbow, come up on top. Here, there, triangle back, here, post, tight, pass, tip line. Alright? Now Mike will do it with a little more flash. 
Okay. So, he's got side turtle on me, bang in the hell out of me. I go for my stand up. What's going on with this one? Yeah. There's a performance of the night bonus. So outside cradle or outside suicide cradle to the hip lock. Now another way would be an arm bar stand. Okay, so Mike's gonna put me in an arm bar and I'm gonna do a hitchhiker stand. Yeah, okay, I hitchhiker out, I come up, I post here, and I'm gonna cradle the crap out. Okay? So stretch the flexibility, knee to face, and there's my entry. Again, it's the same thing over and over again. Heel, pull back. I could even just here, maybe different submission for you guys. If I was here, I'm just gonna do a back twist yoga stretch for my pop them out a little bit. Okay, Mike's gonna do the same thing, arm bar skip. I'm go for my S mount, let's see. Boom. Ding 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 ding. I go S mount, I go for the arm bar. This hitch like your stick, lifts, turn the corner, cradle me, that's not a fun place to be. And he's just wrapping me all up. Passes. Okay. So arm bar escape. Hitchhiker arm bar escape. I like the hitchhiker escape for MMA, especially if you time it right. When the guy goes for it, it's a good early escape to the arm bar. Now, uh, the fifth entry is going to be a leg split defense. Usually I can hitchhiker. Then stack in defense if that didn't work. And then maybe leg split defense. Leg split defense to an arm bar is a little bit late. Okay? So, if Mike, yeah, got me in like a crucifix arm bar position, yeah, that's fine. And I got my butterfly grip, I'm here, tight and tight. But I'm starting to slip out. Slip out, butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. At butterfly grip time, or maybe S grip time, last ditch, it's time to get out. I'm gonna move. My elbow to the mat, I'm a, I can bump first, bridge first, and then my elbow to the mat, and now I'm gonna bump this up. Bump this up and split, and then I come on up. Now, flexibility test one. Knee to face. Bam, Mike's tapping, that's good. Flexibility test number two. Check this leg, see if there's maybe a reverse knee bar right here. Oh, maybe not, I can come in here. Maybe reverse knee, yeah, I think I got your thing. Reverse knee bar right here. Camera. Make sure you get this in. Okay. So right away I got it. I'm like reverse knee bar. I'm tripped down by the ankle. Reverse knee bar. But you know I don't like one submission. Two is always better. Reverse knee bar and toe pull at the same time. Or just a toe pull. Okay. Or I can come in here. Bam. Collect up here by his neck. And maybe I can get my shoulder down on his neck from this angle. Camera. Like this side. Mm -hmm. neck. And I can start working on his neck. Okay. Maybe yes, maybe no. I can get my shoulder in there. From there, I'm going to pass flexibility test again this way to, to the knee at a little different angle. Oh, that's cool. And I keep coming. Test again. Okay, that's cool. And then I'm back into my hip lock. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So that's all from the leg split. Arm bar defense. Okay. Um, yeah, you can replay the video. <laughs> I'm not going to put Mike through that again. Yeah. Okay, leg split defense to a whole bunch of submissions could possibly end in the hip lock. You guys should know all this stuff. This is stuff people don't know, but how many ways is there to get out of an arm bar but you should be counterattacking? Right away, just to that cradle, if you do hitchhiker to a cradle, that's counterattacking. You shouldn't just be defending, you should be countering. Okay, and the last one is electric chair sweep entry. I'll get my half turn. Boom. Okay, Mike's in my half turn, and he's doing what he should do. But let's pretend he didn't do that. Have you? And I get a lockdown in. Okay, it's really hard to get a lockdown on Mike because he knows to avoid it. Okay, so you got to get the lockdown in. And let's say from there, maybe. Um, Either way, I like to set up my lockdown. Not, not with an old school sweep. If I can move him and whip him up, that's great. But his base is too good for all that. So if I can't, what I like to do is just cover and hug him. Now if I break his posture control, 
And especially MMA, he can't hit me. I got my nice tight lock down, squeezing that. I cover, he can't punch me here. And I overhook here, he can't do nothing. Right? So I'm set, this is my setup for MMA. Now eventually Mike's gonna get sick of this, and to break that, what are you gonna do? Big time posture, right? Yeah, you're gonna posture, boom, come up. That's my time to go. So I'm here, he's trying to hit me, I keep him down for a little bit. Go ahead and posture way up to it again. Boom, I look at my hand past the armpit. I go for my electric chair. Boom, on the shoulder. Now, here's how I do it. I don't post up like Eddie likes to, because I think there's a lot of space and he can get his foot out and kick me in the face and stuff if it was street fighting. I like to stay here and just torsion twist, okay? Let's say that didn't work, you go for the old school sweep. Now I post on my elbow, building my base. I come on up. Sorry, Mike, flexibility test again. Boom, okay? Then, pass. Boom. There's the hip lock, with the lock down here. So now I can hip lock them. Again, remember, how about, how about the back twist? We'll just throw that back twist in there for some yogurtness, and then here, I'm gonna bring him back into the hip lock. Look, I can draw in with the hip lock, or with the lockdown. So I got a scorpion lock, AKA lockdown, a scorpion lock on his leg, and I draw him back into the hip lock. If he uh, is really flexible and does it, tap here, I can undo the lockdown and draw it back even further by healing him. So, that's six entries to the hip lock. Uh, and it's not the craziest entries in the world. It's along the path, you'll get there, like this last one, maybe a guy like Gio Martinez could use that. Anytime you hit that electric chair sweep, like Bravo versus Roy the Gracie 2, way before you have to roll to the truck, to the path, to the kamikaze, the hip lock is there as an option in stoner control position. So learn that hip lock position, inserting a leg, because it's good for ground and pound, and it's great for submissions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check out our gym online at Roy City uh, Fight Club, and uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you.